Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, we're gonna look at how we can use Alpha Channel in screenshots of the viewport in Unreal Engine. So if I wanna do a screenshot of this without all of the uh, control rig stuff and the sky, you know, ultimately what I wanna do is, you know, bring that into Photoshop and drop it into a cool thumbnail, right? So the issue is that if I do a uh, standard screenshot right now, and that would be by going to this hamburger menu and going down to high resolution screenshot, and then saying capture on this and just click on that and off screen i have a little link to that uh, essentially i get a screenshot of exactly what we're seeing right so if i go back into photoshop and take a look at a screenshot um there it is right so i've got all the icons and the control rig paraphernalia and i, I don't want any of that what i do want is something without the control rig and without the sky that you know looks like this in photoshop where we've got just transparency out here for the sky areas, and then we've got uh, just the floor and the dragon. So uh, let's take a look at how we can do that easily in Unreal Engine. So um, the first thing is it's really easy to get rid of all of the icons and uh, control rig stuff. As long as I've clicked in the viewport, I can tap the G key for game mode, and that gets rid of all of our editor tools. And so now we have a, a clean image, except we still have the sky. And so what I want to do is isolate just the floor, which is a static mesh, and the dragon, which is a skeletal mesh. And the feature for doing that is a custom depth map. So if I click my hamburger menu and go to high resolution screenshot again, we can look at this custom depth as mask. So if I highlight this, anything that has custom depth mask activated will be in my foreground. Of course, I want to do that. Nothing is selected. So all this green area is going to be transparent, which is my entire viewport. Let's deselect that and go and select the uh, floor plane here. So the floor is selected in the outliner. And if I go into the details and type in the word depth, then I see this option render custom depth pass. So I'll check on that. I can leave the rest as defaults. I can also select my dragon and see that it has the same feature and I can check on that. Now there is one real, uh, a little bit of a strange thing. I can uh, select as many different static meshes as I like, and this will appear because they all have this uh, parameter. And I could select as many uh, skeletal meshes as I like, and, and I'll also be able to see this. Uh, the thing is that for some reason, if I select skeletal meshes and static meshes, even though they both have the same parameter, it doesn't show up. So if you've got a whole bunch of things selected and uh, you type in depth or custom, whatever, uh, it's not going to show up. But if everything is a static mesh, it'll show up. If everything is a skeletal mesh, it'll show up. So I just thought I'd give you a heads up on that. All right, so now with those two selected, I can go ahead and activate this custom depth mask. There we are. And uh, just to get rid of this little gizmo here, I'm going to go click on the main editor in my outliner so that I just have no controls showing up at all. And now I can hit capture. And with that, I can go into my uh, browser here and this is my Windows Explorer. And I should see this uh, 0001 was just captured. And if I open that up in Photoshop, well, this was a previous one, I can close this. And I'm going to say no to that. Thank you. And we can just open up the new one just to make sure we've got the alpha channel that we expected. So select and open. And there we go. So that's how to uh, isolate objects in your viewport for your screen captures. And I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.